1-800-529-1051. Because even children who are back, the, the, the vaccines are not 100 percent. So even children... Give your opinion, but be willing to listen and be willing to learn, and that will balance out those really great conversations. You always have such good advice. You are not alone. Reach out for support. Trust me, it's out there. Empower yourself by volunteering to help others who are in distress. Shout out M Easy and tune in to the sit down. Easy does it, do it easy. That's what I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm doing. So sit down, it's your main man, M Easy, and across from me is Psychologist of the Stars. <laughs> Dr. Jeff, I'm not even going to try to pronounce the last name. How's it going? You should you should know that last name I, being where you're from. Right? Gardner? Gardner. Gardner. See, Gardier. I knew I was going to mess it up. I didn't want to. No, you got it. You uh, got it. Dr. Jeff, uh, we did a, an event at the Apollo mm -hmm. for the N-word. That's yes, why I met you. That's right. Um, that's right. My first words to Dr. Jeff was like, I see it. He said, oh. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's right. That's right. My, and, we had, and we had a good time there. Yes, it was a good conversation. And uh, you certainly, you know, you, I, I thought, you know, representing the youth. I mean, that's what they had you there for, mm -hmm. right? Representing young people, the millennials. I know millennials hate that term, <laughs> yes. right? But uh, you really, I think, you, more than anything else, really brought out the passions that people have about the N-word on either side. Mm -hmm. So my congratulations to you and thank you for being who you are. No, thank, thank you for, for enjoying what you heard and thank you for yeah, coming by as absolutely. always. Absolutely. Now, um, my, my team here said they recognize you from Love and Hip Hop and, and all of these things. I was like, he does serious things as well, people. My claim to fame, it's really funny because when I get the introductions and they talk about, you know, Love and Hip Hop and Housewives mm -hmm. and Potomac because I'm on there this season. Okay. And I also do Paternity Court and I'm doing another show that's coming out, uh, you know, a court show and... Uh, it's really interesting. People don't know that I actually teach at a medical yeah. school, right? Yeah. I actually do see patients. <laughs> you know, I'm not just a psychologist on TV. I'm, I actually am a psychologist. I'm glad you brought you you went that route with it. So now, as a, because I don't want to quote you and make you a TV doctor, because you're a real doctor, a real doctor and a TV doctor. So you know, a hybrid, and it's okay. It's so, okay. But I've heard a lot of people give. Um, is it Dr. Oz? They, 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 Dr. Oz, Oz gets a lot of shade for not being a real doctor and just a TV doctor. Well, he actually is an MD. He's a real doctor. Okay. Dr. Phil is also a real doctor. I believe he's a PhD. So there are some folks out there, and I'm not going to throw shade at anyone, who claim to be experts, mm -hmm. you know, as far as certain things. But the expertise is really more around their experiences. And at the same time, we have to honor that, too, because it's not just about the education, but it's also about what you've been through. Mm -hmm. But I like to see a combination of both, where you have the education, you have the training, and you have the experience. I look back on some of the patients that I worked with when I was in my 20s, mm -hmm. you know, because that's when I first got my Ph.D., and... Now, where I am being 60, going on 61, um, I wish I had some of that expertise that I have mm -hmm. now that I could have given some of those folks back then. I mean, I did a fine job with them, but the way that I'm working with people now at 60 certainly is different. So that's why when we work with professionals, it's really important that you get people that are very seasoned. I know we're a very youth-oriented Mm -hmm. society mm -hmm. you know and I ain't throwing shade at anybody in here since I'm the senior citizen at the same <laughs> no. time when you're getting your care it's important to get someone who also has you know when we're talking about physical mental health care mm -hmm. uh, it's important to have someone who has the experience too. I'm so happy you're here Dr. Joe because I, I've I've been uh, I don't want to say searching I've learned a lot of new things in my in my old as I get older and um, I, I like to to fact check some of the things that I hear. And a lot of people are now telling me it's no, you can't really trust medical doctors like that. They're just really giving you pills that they're trying to sell to put money in their pockets. Mm -hmm. It's all about mm -hmm. nutritional nutritionists and and wealth and, and, and health and, and wellness and stuff like that. Can you give me a definitive answer as to why people don't trust doctors anymore? Well, I think well, there are a couple of things. And very quickly, 
you know, we have to look at the Tuskegee experiment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, you know, that uh, experiment with syphilis to see how long people would live with syphilis. Black males primarily would live with syphilis. And some of those people, my understanding is, died and, you know, of course became very, very sick and so on. Um, and so I know people of color may tend to not trust the medical establishment because of that. Mm -hmm. We also have to look at this whole idea of getting your brain shrink. The, you know, seeing a psychologist, a social worker, a psychiatrist. Uh, again, in the African American community, quite often we have a stigma when it comes to dealing with mental health issues. You're crazy, like, you you're to, crazy doctor, yeah. to go see a doctor. As far as you know, taking the pills and so on. Look, I train my medical students and psychology students and social work students to be true to themselves. Medication should be the last line of defense. First line of defense happens to be the talk therapy because I really believe that we can work through a lot of our issues by getting counseling and I would love to see I, I'm starting an institute with a good friend of mine uh, Andrea uh, Andrews in a couple of uh, maybe another year or two and what we want to do is bring mindfulness to all children having them learn meditation and having them talk check in with someone as to what's going on as far as their mental health issues because we have so many people who are depressed so many people committing suicide so many people using drugs to self-medicate because they're unhappy we have a society that's unhappy and I just think it's important for us to get rid of the stigma of you know talking to someone just like you have a physician who gives you an annual checkup well I want you to get a monthly check your mind sort of checkup mm -hmm. okay just to see where you are and what you can talk about and we all deserve brother M easy we all deserve to be happy we don't have to walk around with all of these psychological issues and stressors all the time you ain't you ain't telling no lies dr jeffers in the building us to sit down okay so now uh, i'm going to play the person on the seat and you're gonna okay diagnose all right me, for Here instance Psych 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 psychologically crazy M easy so I'm born of a of a single fa single mom parent. Mm -hmm. um, Haitian. She had three kids. Mm -hmm. I was the oldest of three. Never really had a dad around. Mm -hmm. Out here running the streets. Um, got into a lot of trouble. Um, there wasn't really a male influence in my life to really put me in check. Yeah. I've had coaches. Had the whole nine yards. Went to school. Now I have a son. Congratulations. Thank you. He Wonderful. Just, he just turned two. Mm -hmm. My whole life it was trying to not to become the father of which my mom would tell me. He's this, he's that, he's mm -hmm. never going to be this, he's mm -hmm. never going to be that. So I felt like I, as a man, I became the man my mom needed when she was going through hers That's and right. not who my lady would want. Mm -hmm. So I became a provider, someone that was there um, financially. I, I, I was emotionally disconnected to my lady because I was just... Um, mm -hmm. Tunnel vision, working, mm -hmm. working, working. I'll provide anything you need, I got it, but just the, I don't mm -hmm. want to hear about the problem. Mm -hmm. Now... What's wrong with you? There's nothing wrong with you. Okay, so let's use our language impeccably. Okay. You're, you're an expert of language, you know, being here, doing what you do. It's not that there's something wrong. It's let's take a look at what can happen better. And let's look at the difference between the sexes, right? Mm -hmm. Men are from Mars. Women are from Venus, uh, Venus okay. right? So women need the man... You know, if it's a heterosexual relationship, um, they oh, need... Oh, she was a woman. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, because, you know, I mean, we can't just say, you know, relationships are just about man and woman. It mm -hmm. could be woman, woman, man, man, you know. I mean, it's all fluid. Absolutely. You absolutely. know, uh, and we respect all of that. But in your particular situation, it's great that you're providing. I did the same thing. See, this is what I'm talking about, the experience, having a, a shrink who not only has the education but the experience. Mm -hmm. I was there, just like you're there all the time bought her a mansion bought her a beach house bought her you know 12 room apartment in manhattan she ended up leaving me. why did she leave because she said it's great you gave me all these things but you weren't there you were there but you weren't there so i've heard that one and she said and and i said but i gave you all these things she said it didn't matter. You weren't there. So I said, well, why did you want half? But, <laughs> yes. but that being... Yeah, I did say that. She's a good, good person. Don't hit the player. Hit absolutely, the game. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. But the thing is, 
it's great to provide all those things and it's great to define your manhood by what you can give you know going out into the world slaying the you know the the animal bringing the meat home exactly. and so on but you also have to be there emotionally spiritually psychologically physically you have to be there to listen to her you have to be there to be that shoulder because men don't like to hear women talk she men always do. wants to talk about something right and you always want to just solve it Let's oh just babe, do it. let me yeah right here's the here's what you need to know brother Emmy. here's talk the thing to you me, need Jeff. to know come on man just listen to her be there you listen to everybody else you do these incredible interviews and you listen to people Bring that hat home at the same time and listen to everything she has to say. And then when she's done talking, then say, okay, baby, I got you. And here's how we can begin to solve things. But it's important that women be allowed to touch their own emotions. That's what they're good at. We're not good at, mm -hmm. at that as mm -hmm. men. And so follow her example. Talk, be there, be that shoulder. When it comes to making love to a woman, it's not just about, okay, let me rub your shoulders and then let's get down to it. It really is love making starts from the day before, from that morning, with a kiss, with some flowers, with holding her hand, by telling her how great she looks, how important she is to you, and then she's all yours by the time you get home in the evening. That's the way it rolls. So just be, you're a good man, she loves you. Be there for her in that way. I know what you went through. You were great for being there, the provider that your father was not. But don't, but you, you don't have to carry the sins of the father. So just be there for her. You could do this. I know you can. You're Haitian. You can do anything. I like that. It's true. It's the sit down that you made, man. I'm easy. Doctor Jeff is in here, um, dropping jewels, making me feel a little better about my life. Um, so talk to me about what you was going on with you and being on Fox Today Show, MSNBC, uh, VH1's Dad Camp. Like you've been doing a lot lately. Yeah, I have. And you know the thing is that you know we can do therapy. You know my we all have a purpose in life. Your purpose in life is to bring clarity to people, to entertain people mm. through music, through your interviews, and so on. And you're lucky that you found that purpose. Mm -hmm. You know while you're young. Um, my purpose has been to heal. And so, you know, I came into the world as a healer. Even as a child, I was like, are you okay? Is everything okay? By the way, I see my, my youngest daughter doing the same, same thing, thing right nice. now. Going to, uh, two years old, going o over to other kids, and I'm 61 having little babies, right? <laughs> going, o going over to, uh, the, I am You were just letting you know it still I, works. I am, That's I, it. Am a, I am Haitian, <laughs> right? You know what I'm saying? We out here! I mean, so, 61, I'm out here. <laughs> but, you know, she's asking other kids, are you okay? Are you okay? So that was my purpose. And so it's one thing to write books, which I've done. It's one thing to work with patients, you know, in the therapy office, which I do all the time, mm -hmm. or to write evaluations. But I think I've been very blessed by the creator to be able to go on these very mainstream shows that, you know, that young people watch um, who are not in tune to themselves as yet. And who can say, well, if Dr. Jeff is doing this, you know, with this particular reality star, maybe I can do the same thing. I can call a psychologist or a social worker or someone and start working on my issues. So it's like bringing the gospel of mental health to the people. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I feel so blessed to be on all these different shows, to be on Potomac to be, you know, on paternity court, to be on For My Man, on, you know, mm -hmm. uh, uh, on, uh, what is it, uh, I forgot that, what, what what station is For My Man on? TV One. There it goes, TV, TV One. TV One, yeah, so, um, you know, so it's a blessing, and I love it, and I love doing all of these things, so I work 14 hours a day, seven days a week, but I still give time to go home and listen yeah. to my significant other. Right and to be there. I'll do better. I'll do better. Okay. All right. You're doing great. My Stop first, it. my first um, interaction. I want to say interaction. First time hearing the the word Dr. Jeff. You were on um, Miss Jones. Yeah, yeah. Hot ninety seven back in the day. DJ Miss Jones in the morning. And yeah. I'll never forget when she said, "They are Haitian doctor, Doctor Jeff." Say so. So I was like, "Don't take." I was like, "Haitian doctor." And at that time, I was young. I was like, yeah. "Shut the fuck up, Haitian doctor, Shit. for real." <laughs> It's like, all right. So, so you kind of helped me go along into what I wanted to do because it was like hearing Haitian doctor was giving me a, um, 
I guess, inspiration to do what I felt I could do as being a Haitian. And and, and and it's really interesting what you have been doing. And so you know, I, I got you know, I got to give you. Do they still say that? I got to give you props, or is that yes, showing yes, that yes, I yes. am sixty yes, yes. one, right? So I got to give you props because I know in your interviews what you're doing is you're bringing clarity to people. You know, you're being able to, you know, uh, shine a spotlight on to the contributions that people make and taking, you know, uh, hip hop or, you know, taking the genre and being able to connect with people and empower young people to change the world. Because this world is in a hell of a mess right I'm now. Glad you see Jeff. And, and this is why, you know, a lot of people complain about President Trump. It's all in divine order. We needed President Trump to yes. wake us yes. up as to what we take for granted and the power that we truly have to change the world. I mean, these are the indigo children that we are giving birth to, that you've given birth to, mm -hmm. that I've given birth to, that are going to save the world because environmentally we're polluting it and destroying it. Mm -hmm. Financially, we're grinding it to the, to, to you know, right down to the ground you know these wars dropping bombs and so on people being killed you know in haphazard ma uh, 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 fashion collateral damage you know the what we see happening with the banks and you know people losing their homes and so on it's this generation that you are preaching to in your own way through your entertainment through your interviews it's this these indigo children who are going to save this world and we need to be saved Amen. we need for it to happen and it's going to happen so you know people tell me that they're depressed about what's happening in the political climate and i'm like i'm happy as a clam because i know this is the way it's going to go it needs to go for us to get to where we really need to be <laughs> dr jeff is in the building this is sit down it's your main man m easy on instagram I, I started to follow this guy his name is shaka bars mm -hmm. he's uh um i guess you would say woke Mm -hmm. As you would say, yes, he's very into uh, nutrition and things of that mm -hmm. nature. Eating fruits and make sure making sure the body. He's a vegan and all the uh, things of like that. And uh, I, when I was doing research on you, you said that you could also get therapy from Jeff on FaceTime and Skype. How do you go about that? Well, what I do basically, people just can just go on my website, drjeffgardier.com. Dr. No period. Dr. J e f f g a r d e r e. You can find me. I'm easy to be found. As a matter of fact, as I talk about this. I will do this and ask you if can you take a picture for me yeah, sure. of uh, me and M Easy mm -hmm. and doing this. Okay. You know what we call this? Evidence. Ha! Because my woman wants to know where am I on a Saturday afternoon? <laughs> so here I am, honey. All right, okay. Evidence. Yes. So yeah, people can go. Thank you. You're the best. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so they, old. They just don't trust Haitian men for some right. reason. Right. You know, let, let, let me tell you. Let me tell you how old I am. I'm so old. I look at you and I'm thinking, Jesus, she is so fine. You would be great for my son. That's how old I am. I'm not even thinking about myself. But I'm thinking about the next generation. She'd be great for my son. But I know my son, and he'd ruin you. No, Dr. So people, He's Haitian. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> so people can actually go on drjeffcardier.com and it'll give them instructions because I do a lot of work with people from around the world. Mm -hmm. And because we're a global society, that's yeah. it. The, you know, bottom line. People are like, oh, Donald Trump, all of a sudden he's global. He has no choice but to be global. You know, we could talk about America first. Let's make America, you know, great again. I'm talking about let's make America kind, damn it. Okay? Mm -hmm. Let's make America kind again. There you go. And the way we do that is to reaching out to all people. So I've been able to do FaceTime. I've been able to do Skype, uh, Google Hangout. And so this is where I do therapy with people from really around the world, around the nation. And here's the, in, it, it, the very interesting thing. I'm getting a lot of young black males. You talked about your father not being there. They will say to me, can you, can I hire you to do counseling or therapy? That was my next question. Do you do couples therapy? I do couples therapy. I do family therapy. But they say, my father was not in my life. So not only do I want you to be my therapist, but I want you to be a father figure to me too. So I find that absolutely amazing that we have young brothers saying, I need a father 
would you be that guy as you're giving me counseling? That's so. I had a conversation. I'm always talking about things of that nature. I think that David Banner was up here with the Breakfast Club, and they were talking about mentors mm-hmm. for the young mm-hmm. black community. And and the reason we need mentors is because the fathers weren't there for them. So if the father's not there, a mentor would be the next best thing. Absolutely, because we all need to be the fathers. And when I was young, they always said it, it takes a village to raise one. Absolutely. It does take a village to raise our boys, our girls. So, you know, I implore everyone, it's not just taking care of your children. Mm-hmm. It's taking care of all, all children. the children and being there. And But what you're doing is you're breaking the cycle. And I see that with a lot of brothers now who say, my father was not in my... I see it on paternity court when I do the show with uh, Judge Lauren Lake. Mm -hmm. By the way, she's absolutely fabulous. you got to get her as a guest. Okay, all right. She lays it out. You You heard what I'm saying? Judge Lauren Lake, paternity court. She is all that. Um, And so, you know, what I see is I get a lot of brothers... And thank you to David Armour, by the way, the executive producer who put me on that show. Love you, David. Um, but it's really interesting how I get all of these young brothers who say to me, I want to be there for my son and daughter because my father was not there for me. So this young generation now, kudos to all of you. You want to be in your children's life because you understand the importance of having. Yes. Listen, we can't let the women do it all the time. Give them a break. break absolutely. Brothers, step up and be there for your children. It's an amazing conversation with, with Dr. Jeff. Um, coming from a single parent home, and you just don't want to have yours go through what you went through. And my son, I would look at him every day, and I and I pray that he has somebody around him that's going to be able to mentor him if I'm not around. Um, You're going to be around. <laughs> You're going to be around. You got to think positive. Yes, it's great. Someone should be there. If God forbid... Something, but you're gonna be there. You know, it, it's we talk about the will, okay? You heard of I Heart Radio? Let's talk about I will, I will, I will be there for my son. I, I will. will always be there for I my will. son. You will be protected, okay? No weapon formed against you shall prosper as long as you walk in the light of the Creator. Trust me, it's real. You're wearing the shirt. The police don't get me started. Listen, God versus my enemies. I can okay. only I can only put it out there. I just need it in. That's all. It's real. Oh man. You know, I learned this at the age of 60, 61. You walk in the light of the Creator. Let me tell you, you get a lot of reward points on that card to go to heaven. So you know, <laughs> t- take take my experience that I have now. Take it to the young people and tell you walk in the light of the Creator. It's important. Jeff, thank you for coming. Man, it was my pleasure, my brother. You're the best. Thank no, you. No, Dr. Jeff. I, and what a crew you have. Beautiful people. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I appreciate you. I, I really was excited to, to interview you. I had Haitian, I had set up a Haitian caterer to come in just to give you a little bit of piece of home, but they... they no, that's okay. The, the caterer you had today was absolutely fabulous. Was was cool. I ate. It was cool. I didn't eat too much because okay. when I get home, I can't say to, you know, wifey, you're not hung- I'm not hungry, but she'll be like, well, wait a minute. Where'd Why you aren't go? you hungry? Where were you on a Saturday at this particular time? But I got the evidence. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I got the yes. evidence. <laughs> Dr. Jeff, again, thank you for coming through. My um, pleasure. The door is always open. If you ever need anything you want to talk about, Anything you're doing, you want to promote, you're more than welcome to come. Well, let, let me put this out there. Since we're both Haitians, mm-hmm. and we do read minds, we do have that power. Who do that voodoo? Woo! I will tell you, I can read your mind. You are going to have me back because I may be that father for you who wasn't there. I can already feel the vibe. I'll, you know what listen, I'm talking about? Hey, that's all right. Dr. Jeff, thank you. So when they say, who's your daddy? Oh boy, there we go. And that's how we end interviews to sit down. Dr. Okay. Jeff's in the building. Thank you, appreciate you. It was my pleasure, brother. I'm Thank easy. you. Thank you. Shout out M Easy and tune in to the sit down. Boy, you should have known by now. Easy does, easy does, easy does. Power 1051.